Hey guys, another video today. I thought I'd give you a quick update on the uh, outside uh, uh, indoor vertical farm that's out in the cold garage right now. As you can see, things have started to progress really well. Um, the lettuce here, this is from you know the first run of uh, starts on lettuce. And you can see, so these are yeah, about 35, 40 days old, which is about right where I need to be to make this whole system work out. I am not getting the speed of growth that I'm looking for, though, out here. It's, it's in, been in the 40s most days since I set this up out here. Uh, and even with a little bit of a heater, I have an aquarium heater in the water below here. Uh, you can see my growth is pretty slow. These are, I want to say, well, I guess I could just look on the thing. What is it? The 3rd of February. They were planted on the 21st. So that's 7, 8, 9, nine 10 days old. And that's arugula there. It, the arugula that is upstairs from the earlier video that's in a heated room uh, by now would be almost twice that size. So that's the same light duration also. Just the cooler temperatures were going slower. Uh, some weird stuff. What doesn't seem to like growing at all out here is the Swiss chard. Those four are empty right there. Those are Swiss chard. You can see one, it got like a little shoot and it kind of died off. That chard has been one of the easiest things for me to start. And I don't know if it's just going to take longer in the cold or what have you. Uh, the other ones that are just starting to come up, you, look, you see a little green in there. Well, it looks pink. Uh, that's basil. All one, two, three, four basil plants are just coming up today. So that's a lot longer than basil usually takes. But you'd expect that. Basil does not like the cold. The purple stuff right there, that's purple bok choy. And, uh, or purple, purple baby bok choy. And uh, it's doing fine. It's just a little bit slower. There's some wasabi arugula in there. There's also way in the back, there's mizuna. And I'll talk to you a little bit about the issues I've had with mizuna so far doing this with what you call a push out. But uh, my hope was for these things to be ready to move up here by about day 14. That would get the rotation. I don't think that would be a problem at all if this system was indoors. I just, I cannot put this indoors having to take it apart in about 12 days to take it down to belt. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but up here, once we get the starts going with the moving water, so basically this is a combination of like a deep water recirculating in crack key. And I did decide this, this, this shallow trap here that's for microgreens, I have just simply cut it off of the main system of automation. So that means I'm running the pump every 15 minutes every hour for these two trays. So 15 minutes out every hour, the pump kicks on, it runs, it circulates, goes back down to the sump. If I want to water the top... I can just basically tick over the timer and turn it on. I close this valve, I open this valve, I run it until I start to hear water recirculating. Then I, sh then I shut, then I, uh, shut the, the pump off. It takes about two minutes for all the water to drain out of it. Close that valve, open that valve back up. And, and so I can do that once a day or once every other day to water the microgreens. That was the easiest, most expedient solution. Uh, some of the stuff we've got going up here. Again, this is, uh, you know, there, pump just kicked on. Um, this stuff here is like about 30-ish, 35, somewhere between 30 and 35 days old, depending on which group of plants it is. Really doing fantastic. That would be what I'd be harvesting from. This would be what I would be growing out. Here's, uh, this is Celtus. This is only, uh, about 16, 17 days old, this plant right here. Uh, so are these, so they're not quite as big. There's a shard, but it's all doing really well. The purple bok choy. Everything doing really good. I wanted you to kind of see, this is spinach, the roots these guys are putting on once they're into this system. It's, uh, man, if you look at all that root mass coming off that one little spinach plant, it's pretty impressive. Um, this is celery. This is the white shiny celery. If you were going to have celery in a system like this, I'd say you want one or two plants that are pretty much going to be here long term. Uh, this grows really slow compared to most of the other th things I'm growing. This guy's probably going to get transplanted out to the garden eventually. Uh, it can be done, but this is really ideal suited for quick turn. You know, somewhere between 25 and 40 days. That plant has been harvested a few times. One big harvest and replaced uh, to keep things turning over. On the Mizuna mustard, um, these guys have kind of turned around a bit, but you can see how much of kind of that bottom is really kind of coming out on the root there. I'm getting a lot of push outs with the Mizuna. You can see it really ev ev evident there. In other words, the root pushes the plant up and out and then it starts growing. And that means it has kind of a lack of support. If you were going into a larger net cup, 
that would be really easy to just put it down in there and throw some stuff around it. Um, but of all the plants, I've, and there's one right there, for example, um, I've had more push out with Mizuna than anything else. And it's kind of weird to me that that's the case. But overall, things are going good. When I was upstairs recently, I did the other, the last video I published, I said that the uh, cress, let me come around the back here, the, the, the wrinkled, crinkled garden cress did not like the heat. This is what happened to it. That's not burning from too much fertilizer or anything like that. That's just, it got too hot under those lights and it just doesn't like it. Now here, it's having, if anything, it's too cold. You know, it's having no issues, but you can see all of it did the same thing. It looked really good until it got up to about this size. It got a little bit closer to the lights. So that's just a limitation of what that system can do. This is that wasabi arugula I've been talking about. This does amazing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. It tastes, it's, it's arugula, but it tastes just like real wasabi. Um, if you want wasabi flavor, I really recommend you look into it. There's another example of it right there. Um, it, 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 it's kind of crazy how much it tastes like full on, full tilt wasabi. Anyway, that's the system. Just a quick little update. As you can see, even that high density planting that I'm doing, uh, no problem growing a ton of lettuce close to each other like that. What I'm looking for is the varieties that are best for this. And I'm finding things like this one here is a Green Towers Romaine that since they grow tall and compact this way. And then these heads like this guy here, these compact butter head styles of various different varieties. And like that's really guy back there kind of grows in the same pattern. Those are perfect because they're not that big this way. You know, they grow to a nice size like that. That's ready to just harvest the whole thing, honestly. And if you do it, it can come back once, maybe twice, but you know, as they come back, they're less and less sweet. So anyway, things are going good. Again, this is, you know, 20 days, that guy right there, 20 days old. And things would definitely be going faster out here if it wasn't for, again, how cold things are. Let's take another look at some roots here. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that looks happy. Look how clean, nice white. Yeah, they kind of probably look a little bit pink because they're uh, under the lights, but I mean, just look at that. Just beautiful plants, man. Hydro works and it works good. Back in we go. Oh, well, there we go. You got any questions about this system and how things are going with it? Let me know. Consider subscribing and dinging the bell so you get an update every time I publish a new video. And if you want to see this thing, put your hands on it, touch it, what have you. If you come to the uh, Belton Mother Earth News Festival on the 15th and 16th of February, I will be there uh, to meet you live and in person.